So, you're here to estrick Ruby and Crokes, eh? Well, this is the video for you. Ruby and Crokes can be quite tricky if you're not prepared, but I assure you, patience is key with this boss. A lot of people take hits here because you're trying to deal as much damage as possible and make a stupid mistake, so hopefully this guide will help you more easily defeat Ruby and Crokes. If it does, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe checking out my other Cuphead videos and guides. So let's get into it. The loadout is actually quite simple for this fight. 100% without a doubt bring Roundabout. You will need to look away from the boss quite often during this fight, so naturally Roundabout is a great choice. The EX shot is also very effective during the first phase. Maybe you know this already, but Ruby and Croaks count as two different entities, and that also means two different hitboxes. This means that when you EX during the first phase, you are not only hitting Ribby, but also Croaks, meaning you're essentially doing double damage. You can notice this because you hear a lot more hit markers when you shoot your EX into them both in the first phase than each by themselves. The next shot you should bring is Spread. You get a lot of value out of it and you can shred both the first and second phase, but I mainly use Spread for the second phase. You could bring another shot here if you want, but Spread is what I recommend you use. The super is really not necessary for this fight in the slightest, so just bring whatever you want. I would say sort of the same thing with the charm, but heart rank, of course, shows a lot of value here. Every other charm is just unnecessary in my opinion. You could use parry sugar, I guess, for the first phase, but you already get many opportunities to get your parries, so just being patient to get all the parries is just as good as using parry sugar in my opinion. That's just about it, so let's talk about this fight. Ribby and Croak's first phase consists of two attacks simultaneously, the fireflies that Croak spit out that slowly make their way towards you, and the fist-shaped energy waves Ribby throws at you. The fists are thrown in a set pattern, some of which can be parried, one close to the ground, one slightly higher off the ground, and one high off the ground. The pattern reverses after the third energy fist. Since this also includes the parryable fist, that means you can predict which fist will be parryable when the pattern reverses. Just to make it easier, I'll tell you the pattern. If the parry starts from the bottom fist, it will be the bottom fist again. If the parry comes from the middle, it will come from the middle again. And if the parry comes from the top fist, it will next be the bottom fist. So now you can take your time with the parries and easily predict where the next parry will be so you can consistently get at least one parry per attack cycle. With all of that, when you enter the fight, immediately turn around and start getting some roundabout damage in. Also, jump constantly until Ribby does his fist attack so you can preemptively get rid of some of the fireflies Croaks will spit out, or just use spread whenever they get close. Whenever Ribby starts his cooldown between his fist attacks, you can go up to them and spam all your roundabout EX shots to deal massive damage and fall back once he's about to do his attack again. Rinse and repeat doing these things and you'll get past this no problemo. When you're about to enter their next phase, Ribby will roll towards the other side of the screen, so just jump over him. After, you spread and shoot Croaks as much as you can. Croaks will spin rapidly into a fan trying to blow you into Ribby and his attacks, so just make sure to continuously move to the right to counteract this. Ribby's main attack is to slap three ringed ball-like projectiles that bounce up and down across the stage. These can be easily avoided by just moving ahead of them or falling behind them. Just a tip, do not dash backwards, because you'll most likely dash into Ribby by accident. Only dash forwards and use your judgment to decide whether to stop moving briefly to fall behind the ball or to stay ahead of the ball to dodge it. Ribby can also do his fist attack from the first phase, but does not reverse this time. When he telegraphs his attack, make sure to stay as far to the right as you can. I simply just jump over the bottom fist, duck under the second, and then start moving again after. You need space for when you duck under the middle fist or else you risk being blown into Ribby, taking damage. That's pretty much all for this phase, so just keep using spread whenever you can and switch to roundabout whenever you can get close enough for all your spread shots to hit. Ribby will again roll across the screen, so just make sure to jump over him. Ribby and Croaks will turn to a slot machine, become invincible, and start spewing out coins. After a couple of seconds, the crank will drop and you'll be able to parry it then to spin the slot machine. For the coins, I recommend staying to the left side of the screen before the first coin starts coming towards you. Once it does, slowly maneuver closer to the right until you can parry the crank. This will randomly spin and spew out one of three potential moving platform attacks that get faster and faster from the bottom hatch of the slot machine, and you will also be able to deal damage. The symbols that could show up on the slot machine are a tiger, snake, and bull. Tiger means that orange chips with bouncing orange balls in the middle of them will come after you. You have to make sure to stay between the chips and timer jumps with the balls bouncing in the middle of each chip. The gap between the chips closes in more and more so maneuvering between the chips becomes harder and harder. You kind of just gotta get in the rhythm of dodging each chip and make sure to do small jumps to make this easier. The snake means that green chips will simply go across the stage, of course, getting faster and faster towards the end of the attack. I personally jump to every other chip so I can keep up with the chips. The bull means that red chips will float in the middle of the screen that shoot fire from either the bottom or the top of the chip. The bullet is the only chip attack that actually has a trick that drastically helps with getting past the attack. I stick to the left side of the screen and simply jump and maybe move a little if the fire comes from the bottom and don't move if the fire comes from the top. 
Well, you rinse and repeat until you eventually beat the boss. Hopefully this video helped you out in some way, and if it did, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to support my content and comment down below. Now, I'll leave you all with an unedited playthrough of the boss fight, so I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, so the loadout is going to be uh, roundabout, spread, energy beam, and heart ring, and yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so we're, we're going to want to turn around immediately, like this with roundabout. Let's also jump too, so we can get, maybe kill, uh, get rid of some of these fireflies. Okay, it's gonna be on the bottom, so it's gonna appear on the bottom again. So there you go. Uh, let's just be again. We can just be patient here. There's literally no rush at all. It's gonna be in the middle. Get rid of these with fireflies. Uh, let's see EX. See, let's get him for like basically double double damage. Let's get him on the bottom again. So boom. Boy, okay. EX for a bit. Uh, yeah, this should be he should be yeah. He's about to turn. Dash over him. Spread. Stay a little close, we can just use Rumba if you want, if you don't want to be careful. There we go. It's, it's, it doesn't matter where I'm shooting because it's going to hit one of them. <laughs> jump, duck, go back up. I have super now, that's good for the last phase. Uh, he should be turning after this, yeah. Okay. Dash over. Stick to the edge. Jump over that. It gives us some more space to work with, but really, it's just all about like just finessing. I don't really know there's many tricks to do that to deal with the coins. Okay, super now. This might be a little risky, but it doesn't matter. I literally have two extra health. Boom, boom. Every other platform I'm jumping to, speeding up, I'm getting a little faster, I'm doing smaller jumps. Stay to the edge. Jump over. Jump over. Boom. Hopefully, it's the bull. Honestly, not oh, damn. Over, back up, jump over, mm. rinse and repeat. Honestly, oh wow, okay, I, I was just about to say like I was gonna, <laughs> I was just gonna take the damage and spread him, <laughs> spread his cheeks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this should be everything. 140, yeah, um, not surprised. There you go. All right, well, uh, I hope this video helped you out in any way, and I'll see you all in the next video.